more than 250 free schools are open across England. Funded by government and free to attend, these brand new state schools offer a high quality education to children from all backgrounds. I thought it would give her the best opportunity to engage with the subjects that she was learning. Every morning when he comes in for school, I can't catch him, he's off like a rocket. If I compare it to other schools, this is maybe number one choice of mine. She's going to get opportunities that the, my older two kids didn't have. The kids are all going to get the best education they can. What more do you want? Free schools are in demand, addressing deprivation, the need for new places, and driving up standards. Free schools are opening all over England, from primary schools to sixth forms like Chapeltown Academy, which opened in September 2014. Like many free schools, Chapeltown Academy was set up by a group of talented teachers. Purely academic opportunities at A-level are thin on the ground in this area, and so this college is offering a route to the best universities in the country. It's a rigorous academic A-level only curriculum. It's um, improving um, high-level employability and soft skills in young people, doing so in a close-knit, supportive environment, um, and it's maintaining the extracurricular excellence, which is so prevalent among some of the best schools in the country. Often people who end up in leading universities are from relatively privileged backgrounds, and actually there's an awful lot of youngsters out there from backgrounds where they might not expect to go to Russell Group or to Oxbridge or to universities abroad, and we're here to, to help them to do that. Four months prior to opening, and with their premises still being developed, the fledgling school has invited its prospective students to an open evening at the local village hall. It's absolutely lovely to see you here. For those of you whom I haven't met yet, I'm Rebecca Maxted. I'm the head teacher of Chapeltown Academy. A chance to meet their new teachers and ask any questions. I decided to come to Chapel Town because it seems the more ideal choice for what I want to do in the future and it's really close to me as well. Thomas Rotherham is my other option but that's like a 45 minute journey on the bus. It would have been an hour journey there and then an hour journey back. And I want to take biology, chemistry, math and I'm stuck between German and psychology right now. Math, psychology, economics and German. Physics and maths is something that I'm quite passionate about and I want to be able to share that with the students which is again why I wanted to apply to Chapel Town and got accepted. This evening we've had loads of girls come to speak to me about doing maths and physics at A level which is really exciting. Every time we have an event like this more people say can we get involved because they can sense the energy that's building and the enthusiasm and the passion for it. But not everyone is as enthusiastic at the prospect of this new school. We will be the first free school in Sheffield and uh, one of the first in South Yorkshire. It's an area politically that has been quite opposed to the free school's policy. Chapel Town Academy is not needed, it's not locally driven, it's in an inappropriate location and it's risky and it threatens to let down the young people who've tr already tr put their faith in this institution so far. We've had to do a little bit of firefighting around the criticisms that we've had but ultimately it's about trying to improve academic outcomes in the area and you know the, I guess the free schools policy is the, the vehicle by which we're, we're trying to do that. The parents are, you know, I know around here, they're just so, so much up for it and always asking, you know, how's it going and can't believe certain aspects that's been said. As a parent, you want the best for the child. The teachers that are coming in here are new, they're, they're passionate, the kids are purely there to, to learn and I just think that the school's got to prove itself and, and what better way to do that in the first two years because that's when the eyes of the world are on it. Now that I've talked to everyone and asked the, the searching questions that everyone else on the outside just thinks to themselves, you actually get to understand that it is a, a good college and they, they are going to be ready. But with just three months to go, there's still plenty of work to do on the school site. Like most free schools, Chapeltown Academy will be converting an existing building, which allows the school to set up faster and at lower cost. But it doesn't yet look much like a school. This is our permanent premises. Uh, obviously at the moment it's still uh, a lorry haulage company, as you can see. Um, but this is where we're going to be uh, permanently from year two onwards. It's actually a huge space for a school of our size. We've been very lucky. It wasn't easy uh, to get, but um, now everything's done and dusted. We're, we're really pleased. It's a great space. Since it will start with just one year group, Chapeltown will occupy a converted office block next to the permanent site. 
And whilst the builders are hard at work getting it ready over the summer holidays, the Chapeltown team have taken their new students to one of the world's leading universities. Today's been about showing them Oxford, an aspirational, inspirational place. They can already, from now, begin thinking about, uh, about trying to you know, achieve to the best of their abilities. Hopefully it'll uh, live long in the memory. I always felt like you'd be one in a thousand, um, but coming here, getting to meet some of the students, getting to meet some of the staff, and there is definitely a community feel. You've got everything you need as a student here, so I would definitely love to come to a place like this. For many of the students, they will have never seen such places or been to such places, and it gives them a sort of indication of you know, what university might be like and what there is out there. It's just about exposing them to opportunity and to, and to, to seeing what's there. And just four weeks after this inspirational trip, the Hauliers have hauled out. And along with nearly 80 other free schools across England, the school is ready to open for the very first time. There were still lots of lorries kind of parking themselves up here, and that didn't look like a school. Now it does. And we've got the building ship shape for the new term. Uh, and we've, we've opened. This is our first day of having students on site. It's been an absolute pleasure for me to be here with you today to share in this first day of Chapel Town Academy. You've done a fantastic job. The really great thing is today all of the students who enrolled turned up on the first day, which is, which is fabulous, and we had a very full library this morning. Uh, it, was, it was great. I didn't think it'd, I'd actually enjoy it this much, you know, with waking up earlier, <laughs> but it was worth it. I'm going to be surrounded by people that are wanting to do well in their education and not people that are just going for the sake of it. The main thing I like is that there are a few students. It kind of makes a big impact because it will give the teachers more time to spend on each particular student. The response to the local community has been really, really positive and it had been from the beginning. We've had less support from the local MP but we're dealing with that with a good sense of humour. I hope you have a good weekend and come back on Monday ready to start studying in earnest. It's just one of those things that doesn't come along very often at all and it actually has for us and we're just so lucky for it, it's brilliant.